It is getting closer. We're now less than two weeks away from the total eclipse of the sun, and we know some of you are wondering, will I have total use of my cell phone on that day? With large crowds expected in Northeast Ohio, could cell towers be overloaded and knock out service? News 5's Bob Jones spoke with police and a cell phone provider to get some answers. Whether the sun shines on April 8th isn't known yet. Just one of many uncertainties surrounding what the total eclipse day could be like for Northeast Ohio. Another question people are buzzing about, will cell phones work with a crush of visitors coming? Or will cell towers be overwhelmed? How much chatter is there about how the eclipse could impact cell phone service, first of all? So there's a lot of chatter, there's a lot of worry. But Verizon spokesperson Jeff Q doesn't think people should worry. First off, the few minutes of sudden darkness won't impact phones. Secondly, Q says Verizon engineers feel very good about the network holding up on Eclipse Day. Our engineers are on it. They've been on it for months um, as far as preparing for that day and making sure that the network is going to hold up just fine. Q says 20 new cell sites in Northeast Ohio's path of totality have been added since last year. Andy pointed out that cell phone services already frequently put to the test for large events such as Guardians and Cavs games. And it holds up really, really well. Still Akron Police Captain David Lachlan, who oversees the Akron Safety Forces Communication Center, says the department has to prepare for the possibility of cell phone outages and advises people what to do if they need to call 911 but can't use their cell phones. Obviously get themselves to safety, get themselves out of that situation, make sure they're protected, um, try to get to a area where there's uh, densely populated so there can be support in that way someone else might be able to connect. Lachlan isn't worried about the 911 system crashing but says callers may need to be patient. The center typically takes 1,000 calls a day, but that number could grow on the day of the eclipse with more people in the area. Use 911 appropriately. Don't call if it's not an emergency. If it's something that can wait until later in the day or the next day, wait. While Verizon feels confident phones will work normally, Q says people can switch to Wi-Fi if they have issues. If there is an outage at any point, uh, you can go to a public Wi-Fi spot, switch your phone to Wi-Fi, and then you can text and call based on that too. Lachlan understands many of us are connected to our phones, but hopes people enjoy the moment and not worry about their cells. We're here to celebrate, you know, a once in a lifetime event celebrated with each other. Akron police have conducted assessments of their communication systems and believe they're good to go. They are also restricting time off, so they will be fully staffed on Eclipse Day to handle any calls that come their way. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.